Welcome to the introduction of the Hikos Trailerized Mobile Firefighting Unit. This consists of a roadworthy tandem uh, axle uh, trailer, uh, which is pretty standard container. Looking into the container, you can see the several parts of which the pump set consists. The diesel engine is a Caterpillar C9 uh, diesel engine with a power of 280 kilowatts or about 380 horsepower. Uh, it drives a pent air pump, uh, which you can see over here. Uh, the water is fed to the pump by a suction piece to which we will connect three hoses in just a minute. To prime the pump, we have a vacuum priming system. The vacuum priming system is fitted in front of the, of the engine. It is driven by V-belts with an automatic coupling. The coupling is automatically engaged upon starting up the unit, primes the main pump and then switches off. So this is the vacuum priming system fitted onto this, uh, this valve. The fuel tank is back here and you see over here the control panel. So it can all be operated from over here. We will now show you how to deploy the suction hoses. It is important to connect these in the proper way because they need to be airtight otherwise the main pump will not prime the system. <coughs> the couplings are standard paro couplings uh, used uh, very often in, in uh, pump uh, sets. The hoses are of course rigid. If they wouldn't be uh, they would collapse because there will be vacuum in the hoses. Make sure that all the connections are fitted together airtight uh, because otherwise the main pump cannot be primed uh, properly. So the hoses are connected. As a security measure we've tied some rope to them. Make sure that they cannot drop into the water. The suction pieces are placed below the water line Make sure that they are below the water line, otherwise the suction line will suck up air and the pump will not function properly. So make sure they have at least half a meter below the water line. Like here. Before we start up the unit, we have to complete a couple of checks. The first ones is for the vacuum system. We have a drain valve here. This needs to be closed. We have a drain valve over here in the water separator. Also this valve needs to be closed before we can operate the unit. And last but certainly not least the main valve to the monitor needs to be closed before we can operate the unit. So, I'm going to close it now, press on it a little bit to make sure the valve is completely airtight. If we have done that, there is also a drain valve on top of the pump. This also needs to be closed. Now we're set to start the pump unit. First we put on the main uh, switch and the power will come on. Turn off the switch on the panel. The screen will start up and you will hear a slight sound of a fuel pump of the engine in the rear of the container. The Caterpillar messenger panel has started up and we're ready to start up the unit. A short press of the start button will get the engine uh, cranking and the automatic a priming system will engage.
after the pump is primed, this is what you'll see. Mind you, this is only at stationary speed. So now we're going to turn up the speed of the engine. Okay. 